Beacon Skiff Apple Farms was founded in 1911. The first trees went in the ground that year uh, by two families that got together. Uh, one had been a potato farmer, one owned some land here on the hillside, and they met down at the market in Syracuse and said, geez, we could grow apples and make, it, and make some money at it. And uh, that was the start of what is now you know, a 103-year-old business. Every generation has put something into the, to the business that's added some value. So, uh, you know, the first generation's put in the, the apple trees. The second generation put in the packing line and the trucking and the shipping and the distribution. Um, you know, the third and fourth generation worked on the cider mill. Now that we're at the, the, the fifth generation here, we're doing the, uh, you know, we're doing the spirits business. So every generation is built on what was, what was left before them. The initial thought of the spirits business was that it was a good diversification. Uh, it was another value-added product that we could sell and have complete control over, and, and the intent was just to sell it at our own retail store. We had uh, no intention of, of selling it uh, through distributors or, or, or even regionally at the time when, when it was developed. So Treat a Bottle really is, is, is our way of saying, look, we own the entire process. We own the trees, we own the land, uh, we make the cider out of our apples. We ferment it into hard cider and then we put it through the still using our own recipe from, from top to bottom. And so we're, we're one of the few, if the only people, that grow the apples, press the cider, ferment the cider, and then distill it into either vodka or gin. So I don't know of anybody else out there, especially not in the Northeast, uh, that's, that has control of the entire process. And the fact that we have that control, plus we're family owned and operated, um, makes us pretty unique.